How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to put a character together that comes in pieces like this, because usually when you buy things of the marketplace, more often than not, they will they will have one single character like this one, which is the base. And then they will have like several parts that you can use to customize it. Now, if you're using it for a game, you could do so like what we have back here, where you see that this is still a skeletal mesh with everything attached to it. And you can use this for a game, uh, but the problem is it comes when you want to use this for a cinematic in sequencer. You can use it in, in, in sequencer as it is. So as you can see, if I go through all of these pieces, let me bring this up. You're going to see that every single piece has an animation. If one piece is missing an animation, this isn't going to work and, and the piece was going to remain behind. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to put a character like this together inside a blueprint. And I know I had a video that I did a while ago, but yeah, that was a while ago. And I found a newer um, and an easier way to do it. So let's get started. One of the things that's important right off the bat is this is a marketplace character that was made for Unreal Engine. So I'm assuming that the character you're using either uses the Epic Skeleton or it uses the same skeleton for every single piece, because if it uses a different skeleton for the parts, then it's a whole different process. What I'm trying to teach you today requires these parts to be part of exactly the same type of skeleton or the same type of bone configuration that you have for your base. All right. So the first step it's going to you're just going to already have one here, but let's just start from scratch. Right click, create an actor. Let's call it on that tutorial and just leave this window over here and we're going to use the base now. The base doesn't have to be like this. So this this is a full body character that you can use as it is because it's a zombie. But sometimes the base can be just the torso or the pants or whatever uh, is as long as it has the same skeletal mesh uh, on the same bone. Sorry, the same skeleton, it will work. So it doesn't have to be a full full flesh character like this. It can just be like a torso piece or whatever. We're just going to add the first part, which is the base. And again, you can use whatever you want here. Camera, maybe a little bit too. Now we need to add something else. We go here to separate it and let's add. Let's make it kind of like a knight, the armor armor. And let's give it one of these. Let's give it one of these. And again, uh, you can parent this up or you if you don't want to parent them, that's fine too. Uh, by the way, I like to do that just so it gets rid of the icon down here. You have to uh, get this out of the self icon. So let's just rename these appropriately. So let's just call this helmet. All right, once we have all of our pieces here, all you got to do is uh, just download MetaHuman, any MetaHuman, and we're going to go into the construction script of the MetaHuman, and we're going to copy the enable master pose. We're going to bring it over here into the under tutorial, going to paste it, and you're going to get this little message right here, and it says enable master pose and we're going to create max matching function in blueprint. I'm going to confirm that. And now we get this function inside this blueprint. Now, if you right click and you uncheck content context sensitive and you search for enable master pose, you're going to find it. Now, if you do that, 
for some reason that wasn't compiling me for me it, it's, it was giving me an error that was missing the target so if somebody knows how to fix that please let me know but the way that i got around that was just copy and paste a metahuman it it doesn't get easier than just downloading a metahuman as if it was a quicksil, quicksil asset and just copy and paste this and make sure you you check that message that i did before and all you have to do is go into this and you're gonna set leader post component i'm gonna do this one right here and we're going to do target and we're going to make the sk on that the new leader bo bone component so i'm going to break this and make sure it's just this we're going to compile that worked we're going to go back to our construction script and we're going to link this over here and we're going to link the armor chest over here to schedule mesh component to compile and this indicates us that everything is working just fine so you're going to get this um, little thing that's it means it's moving it means that everything is fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add all these is exactly the same process just copy and paste your master pose component you already set up a leader that's the reason why you set up a leader because everything is going to follow the base and again the base can be whatever as long as it has the same skeletal mesh so i'm just going to time lapse this a little bit All right, once you've uh, connected all those and maybe just organize it a little bit better than I did, but it gets the point across, compile, and you're going to see that all your bands are moving through, no errors, save it. And now that we go here and add an animation, so let's do this one, you're going to see that it follows. So if I just play this, you're going to see that it's playing a dead animation and everything is following as it should. Everything is following correctly. It's clipping a little bit through the floor, but that has nothing to do with the animation. All I wanted to show you is the fact that because we did that, everything worked and you can customize this character. Now you have a blueprint. One of the best things about doing an actor blueprint instead of doing anything else is the fact that you can just swap skeletal mesh and if i go back i can go into my blueprint double click it and let's say i want to swap the chest for something else let's just go here and let's say we want to swap it for something uh cloth like let's just swap it for this you can swap it for that lead save and when you hit play everything works and because it works here, it also works in sequencer. So you can just throw in your animation and everything else will follow. Of course, this works for a game. If you're building a game, this is a easy and fast way to create characters um, with uh, several pieces that you usually get from the marketplace. And again, this works if you if all these pieces have the same skeletal mesh. All right, everybody. That is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick tutorial on how to do these characters uh, when you have customizable pieces from a character pack that you either created or that you bought from the marketplace. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter. There's a Patreon if you want to help out the channel. If not, then leaving a like and leaving a comment for the YouTube algorithm goes a long way. Thanks a lot to all my patrons. They're right here on screen. And um, yeah, oh, the Discord. Yeah, follow me on Discord if you want your questions answered. There's a lot of people there. It's a big community that can help you out. And myself, I'm there too. So I'll see you in the next one.